This is what's left of the turnip soup that I made just a couple days ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these carrots and I'm going to cook them on the stovetop alongside these organic sweet baby broccoli. They're delicious when they're eaten raw, but I'm going to cook them for tonight's dinner. Come and watch. So we're shooting this with my brand new XP120, which finally arrived from Amazon. And I'm real happy about it and we'll be able to test to see how it all turns out. Step one, peel the carrots. These are organic carrots, already washed, ready to eat. Helps you have yourself a good peeler. I got this one for an incredible price of $1.14. I get my produce just about everywhere. I get that sprouts. When I'm in an area where I see an old earth, old food, old food grocery, I get that. I get it at, at my local market, Stater Brothers. They sometimes have better prices. I also get it at um, Aldi's, sometimes at good prices too, and I take advantage of that. It's a different type of grocery store. But most of my stuff is bought at Sprouts. Today is gonna be Green Knife Day. And we're just gonna, ah, he's got a bad carrot end here, so we're just gonna take this off, end off here. Take a look at these well, okay. And we're just going to cut these small because I want these to cook fast. And I don't want to wait all day long for, for these to cook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blanch them and then put them inside the soup and then cook the soup again. Or actually, in this case, it'll be mostly warming it up. This what we're going to do with is we're going to cook that on the stovetop, the organic sweet baby broccoli, just in a frying pan until it's tender. If it ever starts to turn gray, you've overcooked it. I'll show you how I prepare that. Okay, this is all done. Let's undo these. Organic. Make sure there's no pesticides. Okay, and then what you're gonna do with these? I'm just gonna cook the flowers tonight, and I'm saving the stem for my salads because I happen to really like these things. Take off the ends here, for example. Take out a piece like this. Mmm, delicious. It's nice and crunchy. I'm just gonna cut the flowers off. Now, okay, I'm just going to show you this real quick. Save these stems. Sometimes, if I have an abundance of these stems, what I do then is I also juice them when I make the broth. Because I make my own broth, my own vegetable broth. Okay, we're getting these stems off. Just another layer of flavor. Okay. Getting all these cut up. Now this one's really thick, so you definitely want to cut up as much as you can of it. It will just be really, really difficult, even though it's going to be cooked. I'm being blanching them is not a full cook just going to make it a little softer so I can eat them. And I can already see that I have way too much here already. So we're going to save this for a later application. So I'm going to go through, take all the stems off. Then once you get to this area, then what you want to do is you want to separate them. 
I mean, you just take your knife, I'm going to show you here, and you just cut them small. Like this. You're going to have some, the flowers of the broccoli is going to fall off, which is fine. That's what you want. You want that. And when you have these stems, you put them to the side, because like I said, you can use them many, many different ways. You can use them in your salads, you can cook them, you can, there's no reason to throw away any plants, if, as long as it's edible. You see that, that big piece that won't work. You find these, you get the flowers off. We're going to be cooking this in my pre-seasoned cast iron pans. And if you don't know how to do that, take a look at one of my videos. Actually, I have three of them. And I'll show you how to do that. So you want to just break up these flowers. So, and sometimes pick, you can pick the flowers off. And we can keep the stems off out. A little tedious, but well worth it. So you don't want that big stem, you just want the flowers. Here's one to get away. And then you can grab them all and just drop them in the frying pan, along with the carrots. And what our purpose is to do is to blanch them. So they're going to cook in the water, very, very hot water, for five minutes. You're almost like you're boiling them. Well, you are. You're, blo you're boiling the water. Water is already hot, and I'll show you in a few minutes how I plant and how I cook it on the stovetop. Just got to take these stems off. bits here that you can't pick up you can do something like this all right let's go to the oven now take your leftover stems and put them in a plastic bag don't throw them away this piece has nothing wrong with any of these stems People eat them all the time. I know I do. And what we'll do is we'll use them up in some other future dishes and you'll have remember I'll say to you, yeah, these are the stems from the broccoli stems. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I put them in this is not a freezer bag. They're not gonna stay very long. I'm just gonna seal them and stick them in the freezer and I'll be probably using them in the next day. I could put them in the fridge, but it's full of groceries right now. All right, I'll be right back. Now in this pan, what we're doing is we're boiling water and it's almost a temperature. These little bubbles are starting to show on the top. Now that water is gonna be placed in this frying pan that has the baby broccoli and the carrots. Now I do I am going to salt it but you don't what you want to do is you do not want to salt your water when it's boiling because that will change the temperature not the, the temperature it will change the heating at the boiling temperature so what you do is you boil your water like normal and then you boil it again and you add your salt here on top of your food. Now what I've done is I've turned on the heat on this large pan, even though there's no water on the bottom, because this is about ready. And I'll start getting the pan hot, the cast iron pan hot. Our goal here is to cook it for five minutes while it's boiling. So we're going to transfer the water in a few minutes, a few seconds. Okay, so now this one's ready. We take this hot water and we're going to pour it inside. 
you only pour what you need. I put this is three cups of water, and it looks like it's fine. I'm gonna put the rest back here, and since this is already boiling water, it's gonna start. So I'm gonna set the timer five minutes. So this is the cold soup that we, the turnip soup that I made the other day. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in this boiling water. There's a little bit left. Ooh, be careful with that. That's that can be very hot. And I'm gonna put it under at about medium. I should turn on the gas first. See, there's the flames. And we're just going to warm this up a little bit while this cooks. When the timer rings in less than two minutes, then we'll transfer this into a strainer, strain it, and then we'll incorporate it, some of this into the soup. Here, I'm gonna zoom it in so you can see it boiling. Can you see there? Right over here where my finger is. That's really boiling in concentration, but it's really boiling everywhere else too. Got less, a little less than a minute left. So I'm gonna turn it off and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, the timer just wrong, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. And you know it's a cast iron pan, so you have to remove it from the burner itself. So we're gonna slide this over. And now what we're gonna do is strain the water out of it, except for I'm gonna save the water for a different purpose. So I probably should have used a bigger strainer. Okay, so the reason for it is I want to save that water. It's almost like vegetable juice, vegetable broth. So it's a cast iron pan. You want to use metal silverware. So there's a slotted spoon. I'm going to pull it all out of here. Now remember, this is already pre-seasoned. So all you have to do is wipe it off. See, it's all dry. Now this broth is going to be saved for a different thing that I'm going to be making. But for now it's okay, now it's going to go into this bowl. But not all of it, just most of it. Okay, so once this bowl has got the hot and the baby broccoli in it, and what we're doing is we're pouring on the turnip soup on top of it. Next step is to mix it both together like this. And now the turnip soup that had lost all its carrots and it's green is healthy again. It was healthy before, but it's even better looking. So what I've done is I've placed this in a storage container that I can use tomorrow in my salad. And I poured the broth, the broccoli carrot broth, into this plastic container and it'll cool in the refrigerator. And it'll be all ready for future dishes that I may need broth into. Now, if, when you do it this way, it's only good for three days, so you have to really plan. Something to think about. So, I'll let it turn out. The carrots are not fully cooked, but you know that's kind of good because not all the nutrients are gone from them. The baby broccoli is soft, it's really tender, it tastes really good with of the soup. So with the, with the baby broccoli flowers and the partially cooked carrots in the turnip soup makes a very nice dinner. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick presentation. And I look forward to see you joining us for our next video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.